hello guys welcome and welcome back to my channel so today we are going to make a dangaree and i have this for the trouser back and front and i have for the top as you can see back and front as well and i have these pieces of fabric which i'm going to use and i have this little piece which is in square and it is three inches by three inches so let's get into it the first thing i'm going to do is to lay this piece of a fabric like so so that i can obtain the shape which I want and the shape is square as you can see so I'm just folding my piece the bit my fabric and place it there then I cut it cutting so here it is let me just finish here so this is the square piece the next thing I'm going to fold it and cut it so that I can get a rectangle shape so with the other piece I'm going to continue cutting like so so here it, up there so the, what i'm going to do i'm going to take this black piece of a fabric plus this combato join them together by with a stitch then continue like that so let me just sew it and show you how it will be and here is one piece which i've joined and i'm going to repeat the same procedure as this one then join all the pieces together to make a, a fabric I know this may take long but it will be worth it at the end so I'm just going to join these two fabric pieces then continue the same step until I have a bigger fabric or a bigger piece So I won't lie, this took a lot of time. So here are the pieces. This is for the back and front. And this is for the back and front as well, for the top. And I have pockets as well, as you can see. So I'm just going to join the crotch line area. The same, front and back. So let me just do that. as you can see so I'm just going to take this piece for the for the top and join with the trouser and I'm going to do the same with the back this is the for the front and I'm going to do the same with the back And the next part that I'm going to work on is the pocket. So I'm just going to fold this pocket and sew them. So after my pockets are done, I'm going to mark, mark a point where I will place my pocket for both for the chest area and the sides of the trouser. So here is me pinning my pocket down so that I can go and sew them down and here is how it will look so let me just sew this pocket down and here's how it looks with the pocket both for the chest and for the trouser 
side the sides of the trouser so the next step i'm going to join both the back of the dangari and the front so this i'm going to start from this point let me just finish well i'm going to start from this point going down then the inner seam of the trouser and the other side so then i have this piece which i'm going to stitch along here and with this small one i'm going to fold it like so then place it there and sew it then with this other piece i'm going to fold it and pl place it like so then sew it here so let's just go so just to be on a safer side if you want to make this patchwork you can do it but the thing that i did wrong was to stitch to do my stitches with this normal machine i could have done with a so just just to neaten my edges so yeah don't make that mistake so here's the outcome as you can see so the next thing i'm going to put this piece over here for the waist i'm sorry if the light has changed it it has gotten dark so i'm sorry again So let me just sew it down, then show you the next step. This is the progress of the dangari as you can see. And I did go ahead and bind, so there. And I did some overlock on it as well. And I went ahead and put the straps as you can see. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to finish the sides. So I have this piece over here. I'm just going to place it there until there. Then I sew this part. After I sew, I will fold it like so. Then turn it like so. So this is for the front. Yeah, and so and do a stop stitch. Then with this big piece, I'm going to place it at the back sew this part until this point then take the other piece and join them together then turn it like so so that i'll be able to put my buttons there and here's the outcome i'm sorry i didn't show you how i sew it because it is at night and my machine is dark the cloth that i'm working on is dark so it's just not giving me a good lighting so the next thing i'm going to check this adjuster and buttons so i'm just going to put them here then show you the next thing Thank you so much for watching.